to day The world we know is about to waste away On both sides and in between We're seeing things that we've never seen Our little piece of paradise Is turning out to be not so nice In a world so full of greed Do we fight? Do we just concede? She was like walking away from you? Yes. She walked from the stairway to the dining room. Interesting. By my bedroom door. Frank, you ready for this? Yes. You got Tony with you? Right here. Awesome. Well, tonight we're going to be um, looking through this house, investigating here. And uh, Monday night we're doing another one of your houses. And that's, what does that have a name? Or the Holly House. Dr. Holly. Uh, first black doctor around here to take care of the coal, uh, people who work for the coal company, and he graduated from Howard University. Can we do like a little tour around and sure. show me where any kind sure. of activities happen? Okay, so we've turned on the PSD sub box, and we're going to ask it a couple of questions. Is anybody in this house that wants to communicate with us? What's your name? Somebody say me. Do you know Geraldine and John? It said, it said something to me. It's been a very strange day. All my electronic stuff has been acting really weird in my car, my computer. And when I tried to call you on the way over here, on, on my, uh, over my phone, I must have programmed in the wrong number because I it never went through. No, Let's take a walk around and we'll see um, if anybody wants to speak out. Um, we're gonna try to. It sounds like a man's voice. Now we're gonna set this one up where you seen the girl. I saw her for the first time, but we heard her. Another girl saw her in my bedroom. Like two or three years ago, yeah, no, That was two or three years ago. Can you tell me what you're trying to like, son? Um, we can go night vision. As long as you can see, I'm going to go to night vision. Okay. Is anybody here with us? This is a beautiful house. Okay. I was resting. Oh, this is where it happened? And I saw somebody right here, just the back, going through this door. And that was about two weeks ago. So we just, our first battery is dying. It just totally drained it, and now it's going back. Wow. It went down to a red, dead, and then it's coming back. Who's draining my battery? Talk to me on this. Use this noise to talk to me. Who's draining this battery? Down the red again. Look. Me. Who's me? Now it's going back to yellow. Oh, yeah. See that? And then it, and it even went up higher. Like it was going back to almost the green. Then right down to the red. It took that energy out of there. You want to see? It's a yellow. Who's draining this battery? Do it again. There it did. It did it right at the man. Most of the activity was upstairs. Okay. And did you say that something going to happen in here? There was a beautiful presence. Let me see. 
there was the presence of someone in this corner, but someone else felt it. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Is there anybody in this room that wants to communicate with us? Do you like the piano? Do you like this piano? This was the Michael Collar. Oh, be careful. This was the men's collar, and we converted it into a master bedroom. Oh wow! So this is your room, huh? Look at this bed. Green. Green. So we're getting uh, that's the tribal meter. The positive and a negative off of that. Who's lighting that up? Can you tell me your name? Look how beautiful. Glenna, are you trying to talk to me? To make contact with me? And things can run through it. You'll see motion. Of course, you got a lot of shiny stuff in there, and it can yeah. it can reflect yeah. it can reflect off a lot of that. Who's with us? Who's lighting up that tribal meter? You can use that to answer questions. Green for yes and red for no. Now, something is interfering with this. What does this give off? That's the wall, and that's not electric. Switch. Might be the switch. And then what are you getting on this one? Go by that again. Well, not really, because usually a switch will set this off, but that is. Did somebody buy that 360? Let's walk around and get some stuff. And this battery is already... Oh, look it. The battery went back. I turned on that so, that thing. I turned on that, that EM pump so it could get the energy. And now it's, up, up, up. Yeah. Now it's going down again. It was taking it from my camera. And now I can take it from you here. You want us to take that with us? Yes. Let me put on my night vision. Here we go. Okay. Let's walk through. What is it? Just drain this battery down. It just took it from a full fresh battery down to this. Now it's back to full. Is it a girl or a boy that's here with us? A man or a woman? Man. If you need energy, go by this blue light behind me. You go over here and you can get energy right there. And that's where you need to go to. Who's the woman that Geraldine's seen the back of? Tell us your name. Do you love this house? I bet you do. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Want more energy upstairs. Look at how beautiful. Do you love this house? You better believe it. I know it loves it. Look at this place. Did you used to live here? Can you talk to us? It almost looked like somebody was sitting there. Can you show yourself? Beautiful. This place is beautiful. Can you talk to us? Here, go first. We got him, cornered him into a, what was that? Did you see that? No. It was a little white ball of light. Who did I just see? A little white ball of light went, beep. Now this is where it's going to be fun for me. Upstairs. I don't know if I caught that, but I saw it. It might have been on the camera. Did we see you? He said, yeah. Did you hear that pretty clear, huh? So we saw you. Who was, what's your name? 
What's your name? Who did I see? Gordy. There's a man. Well, let's sit in here for a little while. Window. You said her by you. That's where the, the lady would look out, right? Yeah. Do you like this window? Who looks out the window? Does somebody steer out this window? Can you tell us your name? It was like a growl, huh? I just, ooh, it was like a growl, huh? Who was that? Are you upset that we're here? Do you want them to put the Christmas tree in this window this year? That's going to be beautiful. Do you like the Christmas tree in this window? You can ask it, John. You want to ask some questions? You want us to put the Christmas tree in this window this Christmas? It said something. Do you like that Christmas tree to be in the window? I bet you that's gorgeous. A Christmas tree in that window? Yes, they like it. Oh, you're kidding. Whose bedroom was this? What did it say? Is there a girl named Glenna here? Did you used to live here? Was that the thing? Yes. yes? That was that. <clears throat> wow. That was a weird sound. How many spirits are in this house? Ten. That was pretty clear, ten. Yeah. Were there sisters that lived here? You're doing really, you're asking really good questions, too, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Was it one of the sisters that used to look out the window all the time? Is there somebody that has said that they've seen a, somebody looking out the window? Really? Have seen somebody staring out that window? That's what they came in and their spirit told them. But yes, actually, a lady used to sit here and look out the window all the time. That's from the neighbors. They, you know, they actually saw it at the time. Now, was there, was, were they looking at the lady who was sitting there or an apparition of a lady sitting there? The, lady, the real lady sat here for years. Nobody wants you to leave. We just want to talk to you. Can you tell me your name? Well, they lived here for a long time. She's... Oh. But what's that? So we want to be your friend. Please talk to us. I'm John. I'm Gordy. And I'm Geraldine. And I'm Joy. I'm Frank. I live here now, and I'd like to know who you are.
got like so many antiques. You know, things can also be attached to the antiques. Yeah. You know what I mean? You bring in something beautiful like this is gorgeous. Right. Everything you got is beautiful things that could have anything attached to it. Can you show yourself? Who did I see downstairs at the bottom of the stairs? The little white light? Who was that? See, a little white light, and it came from, like, up the staircase, and it came, like, straight down. Was that someone taking a picture? I have a picture of somebody on this step. You do? That lived here? Yes. What, at the bottom of the steps? Yes. Wow. Well, that's where the light came from. Yes. Can you bring it up? Can yes. you get it? Wow. That makes a lot of sense because yeah. I seen that light and then didn't it say, what did it say? Did it give us a name of who it was? Gordy. Gordy. Gordy was that's the flowing light and I didn't even realize she had that. Wow. Is this Glenna? Is this you? You're beautiful. Oh, so that is the white you saw the white flowing. Is it's this the stairs light. that we just came up? Yes. Oh and my God. I've seen the light come from here and go straight on down like that. Like right in front of me, like right at my feet. And I, I went, whoa. And it was about this big around. A little bright little ball of light. I saw a ball through the side. You did see it? Somebody was here and told me that the person, that there was a picture of a person in this house that was trying to contact me. Well, I saw a ball of light it's come. I, look at my goosebumps. <laughs> I got goosebumps. What is it? What does it sound like, Frank? Is somebody out here trying to communicate with us? Oh, it's going to die on me. Look at it red. Drained it. Are you going to shut off? Oh, it's back to yellow. Thank you. Don't drain my camera. Go by the blue light. Oh, look at it going. Who's with us? Yeah, go on up there with them and see if any, anything gets set off. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that voice? Do they like this room? Do you like this room? Oh, look at it. It's going... You like the little dollies? Maybe yeah. Get rid of them. Do they give you an eerie feeling? <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Just me. I'm not a doll person. I think like spirits can use a doll as a vessel. Is it going off on them? Is there any spirits attached to these dolls? Was this a girl's room or a boy's room? Who likes all the dolls? <laughs> it hit me like right here. Exactly where I hit it. But that's old, huh? It kicked me in the leg. What's your name? Do you like dolls? Never have too many dolls. Really? Did you like dollies when you were little? <clears throat> oh, we're getting K2. Look at the K2 three lights. And I seen it on the fourth light on the K2. Yeah, well ago. So, what, one of these spirits room. threw the Christmas tree down, you were just saying? Yes, that was in the other room. In the room that we Show just me. Left. So, apparently, one of the spirits here threw the Christmas tree down. You just heard something? <laughs> it just stopped recording, too. I just started it again. Are you unhappy with all of us here?
that you keep stopping and playing with her camera. So it killed the battery, shut the camera off, and now look at the battery's full. That'll that'll pick up that energy that that's putting out. And that's for the energy for the camera. Instead of draining this battery, go by that blue light. How many are in this room with us? We got five people and how many spirits? Are you unhappy that everybody is here? What was that? The, was that that? Yeah. Right here? Or something like that? Does somebody have a message for me? I'm Geraldine. And I feel like somebody has a message for me. Mmm. It definitely said something to you there. Do you have a message for Geraldine? Is there a package hidden in this house somewhere? Where did they hide it? Where is it hidden? What floor is it on? We'll narrow it down to floors. <laughs> Is there something here that Geraldine's supposed to find? What is it? A hidden a box? Did you say it's a box? Where is the box hidden at? Wait a minute. That didn't sound like it came from there. That sounded like it came from the room. Are you sure? Okay, I definitely heard that. But it sounded almost like it came from like. I like to know what that big bang was the other night. What was the big bang that Geraldine heard the other night? Who was that? Who made the big noise that Geraldine thought that John fell out of bed? No one. It said no one. Did you hear it? Like Clear as freaking day. Who is Gordy? Gordy is like an old name, too. I find out. If there's a Gordy? Um, um, that, that was so clear when it said Gordy. Who did I see at the bottom of the stairs down there? Whose light was that? It was so clear. It's cool when you see it with your eyes. Because, you know, you know you've seen it. It was a beautiful light. It was white. Like a little cotton ball. What was it? About the size of a penny. What's in the box that Geraldine's supposed to find? Is it money? Is it papers? Is it jewelry? Is it something sentimental? I know it's very special because it's been put away for a long time. Yeah, this house is 121 years old. Yeah. Want to tell me if I'm alone? Said no. Why don't we go into the? Let's go. I'm following you. Let's go. Who is holding that door shut? That one said pretty. It said something. What? Yeah, that one said pretty. It said pretty. It's Tell me if you want more lights on or off. No, it's good. I turn the night vision on when we're in here. You want this more? I just saw something. You, I just saw something. Have you met Michaela? Who's Michaela? 
the granddaughter that was sitting out front. Do you like Michaela? Yeah. I'll bet do. What's your name? Who are you? Who likes Michaela? Who's Gordy? Whose bedroom was this? Was this a boy's room or a girl's room? Was this was this the master bedroom for the parents? I wonder what that white light was that kind of like flashed in my face. I'm glad you guys saw that. That was weird. Whose bedroom was this? Who's hurting my ankle? It feels like something is just like. Look at my ankle and see if it's darker, hotter on my ankle, Frank. Is your foot's hotter? Yeah. Oh, that ankle is just killing me right now. Like. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet it is. Right, that's what I'm thinking. How oh, swollen. Oh. Could you tell us anything about this bedroom? Tell me the name of who slept in this bedroom. Who slept in this bedroom? What is that? That's weird. Did you hear how many? Can you light up the green light on that tribometer? That's the one in the center. Can you light up the green rod? On that middle one? Said I'll do it or something, didn't it? Now, so what was the, the name? Was Puck? Pack. 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 Yeah. What is it? Collins. 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 Those are just a few. Is there any Collins here? Who threw the Christmas tree down? Now tell me the story about that Christmas tree. What happened? The Christmas tree was put up. In that front window in that room in next the door. front window where we just left where the sofa is. Right. And then the brother put it up was sleeping in this room. Yeah. And during the night, she kept hearing that whole room being trashed. Really? Well, and, nobody was in there, huh? And things being thrown. And when she got up the next morning and walked in there, it, there were some ornaments on the floor. And the Christmas tree was back up. But it was a very angry um, action. Right. So something was upset. That the tree was there. Oh, maybe the woman that liked to sit there and look out the window. Yes. And that was in her way. Is that what happened? I believe so, because two years later, somebody kept, came here and did, they were just a repairman, didn't know anything about the house, and told me that somebody was very angry. It's that getting ready to shut off. Tree. In her window? Yes. Ah, it's going to shut off. I don't know who it was. I want to know who it was. 
Who was upset about the Christmas tree? What's your name? Was that block in your view where you like to watch out the window? Did somebody get in your space? I believe they were so angry that they were doing laundry during the night. Oh, did that piss you off when somebody was doing laundry at nighttime? Is that what happened? Do you know the name of our group? Well, why don't we try across the hall? Let's try in that. Actually, that room you were in okay. over there was, oh, was it right here? Right. Yeah, let's see if it wants to do something. It was really lighting up in here. This is where the person was sleeping when they heard the laundry going. Oh. You could sit on this stool. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Can you show yourself in that mirror? Can you talk to us? Was this a bedroom? Wow, who's lighting up all them lights? Look, at it's lighting up a lot of red when all that red's going on. That's a negative energy. Who's the negative energy in here? Just trying to figure out what would make that 360 light the way it the way it's been, where they're all lighting up. Where does the power come into the house? Uh, that, corner, back, the back. that corner back there by the deck. The back, yeah. Oh, straight back. That's all. I don't know why that's all lighting up now. There's nothing really here. Something's. Who's on the bed? Hold that still for a second. Who's on the bed? Gone. Who was on the bed? We just want to know your name. Nobody's going to make you leave. We just want to talk to you. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, it seems like when we first walk in, or we have energy there, and it seems like after we're there for a while, wants to leave. You know, we mm, yeah, out. we might be scaring it out. And even the bunkhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if it's like two people, I mean, things will come in. Well, I'm saying then you just have to leave the for Were there any babies in this room? Babies. It said babies? It said babies. Did it? It said babies. I kind of get the feel of a nursery in here. Did you have babies in here? Whatever needs the energy to have it available, I didn't know so it. they can go by you and stay away from. It just killed it. What are you seeing on that thermal? Was there anybody that lived here that made you angry? Is there a box? In this house somewhere that Geraldine's supposed to find? Anybody live here that made you angry and had things here that 
you really didn't appreciate. Were there animals here that were kept in cages? Weird dolls? dolls. Really? Animals were kept in cages in there? That's what I was told. He was only here very long, but he really messed up the place. And I think a year's long enough to put a scar on a place. And he was here that maybe longer. He had a friend in here for turtles and stuff. But you know, you always don't keep that stuff. I mean, a big turtle like walking around on the floor? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all kinds of stuff in here, but I didn't make the bang the other night. No, the other night it was like something heavy fell. Now, was that downstairs in your master bedroom? No, no I was downstairs. I heard it when I was in bed. I was doing work at my desk. Exactly. And where where were you sleeping that, that sounded? He was in the master bedroom. I was but downstairs. It, it sounded like it, it came from this general area. I couldn't tell. I just ran because it sounded it like Is that directly below here, the master bedroom? Is that yes. right? It is. So where were you? In the office area when you in heard it? Downstairs. So you heard like across the r r across on the same it was, floor. It could have been anywhere on the first floor. It was so loud. How loud? Like, bang! It was a big bang. Like, like that? Heavy noise. Bam! Yeah. That loud? It was like yeah, it was a loud Did it sound like a, a cushion, like a body hitting, like yeah. a, a soft thing yeah, hitting I something hard? Yeah. You know, versus like a slam of like a door or a... So it was like a, 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 a lump of meat, boom, hitting the yeah. floor. Yes, I, like I said, I ran, I thought, he fell, I thought he fell out of bed. So it sounded just like a person hitting the ground. And not a child, an adult. It was heavy. Right. It was a heavy. Now, you don't know any, no no deaths in this house? Not that I know of, I'll try to... Wait a minute, what am I seeing? What is that? Look, Frank. See it? Watch. Mm -hmm. What the hell is that? It must be picking up a reflection. Turn that little box around the other way for a second. Point that blue light at you. That must have been. Now point, point it back. Point it back at me again. See, that was it. That was it. See it? Why did somebody wake up my daughter, with the washing machine going so early in the morning, or the wee hours. Really? And so, they were very loud. Like, maybe they were mad. And one would tell me that story. And it was the same time as the person was angry about the Christmas tree. Oh, really? That same day that or same, night? The Christmas tree was about 3 o'clock in the morning, and then the laundry was a few hours later. It could have been 5 or 6. So was somebody actually doing laundry? No. But she heard the sound of laundry? She got up and walked down with her dirty clothes because she thought I was got up and couldn't sleep and was doing laundry. And when she got there... It wasn't going. Now this house is what, 120 something like that. Some years old. So But it wasn't occupied until 1902. Was it ever sitting vacant? So from it was 18, 18, it was first built, it was 1897 till 1902 for five years it just sat vacant or being no, built? No, no, no. We have no record of anybody that lives here. We no, outside of a laptop coal company. And then it was sold to uh, the Buckeye Coal Company in Hewitt. And that's when the cops moved in. There, there's no record of anybody who lived here. Huh. So, no, they were the first ones on record. Yeah. And we don't know if they started to build it, if it took According longer to, the, to build. According to the 1897. Yeah. Or maybe just for whatever reason it was in limbo waiting for them to get here or something. Maybe waiting for them to pack up another house. Maybe.
And then you never know if a vagrant or somebody might have been... Yeah, you don't know. Like I said, nobody knows during that time. Well, they, we know that they moved in in 1902 and the house was built in 1897. But nobody knows of anybody that lived here before. And um, I'm not thinking vagrant because at the time, the bank was here, the Presbyterian Church was here. Yeah, I don't there think was some other people. Yeah, it ain't like a lot of homeless people like there is today. Sure, well, yeah, you know, uh, there were, but not in right here. Cause coal, yeah, I'll tell you, Flat Top Coal could have had somebody living in here, a foreman who wanted a coal truck for a coal company or something. Maybe just to keep keep, to keep somebody here, heating it, it heating it in the winter. Out. and. Yeah. Is there more bedrooms that way? Well, we're going to take a walk now. Down the hall is another bathroom. Now, is there? A, there's not a floor up above this, is there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're but kidding. It's a disaster. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, she, she it was two up. rooms. There yeah. was two big rooms up. There. Most of the energy was coming up here. Wow. And it, this man, the one, everybody else was a woman, and this one man was here. He had never been in my house before. The tree was right there, and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the person that put it up was sleeping in that room. Mm -hmm. And this, it sounded like the whole tree smashed against this wall. Does that room connect, that door? Yes. Oh. And she didn't get out of bed. But she did come in the next morning. And she could tell there was activity in this room. And she could tell that. And some of the ornaments were off the tree on the floor. Interesting. Somebody else came to visit about a little over six or eight months ago, but it was recent, more recent, and had no idea about anything of the house and hadn't been in it before, mm -hmm. and walked up the stairs and got hit with a bolt of energy. And he told me two things that were specific. Was he said... That was the repair dude, right? That was the repair man. He I said down. there was a tree in this room in the window, and a woman got very angry. He knew nothing. So that's the angry woman that was throwing stuff around. And he also told me, and now these are two separate families. Oops, that was me. He told me that there is energy from that person, and that they do not want me to put a tree in this room. So are you going to do that, not do that? I mean, it's your house. I, I don't know. I think we're going to put a tree, but, I mean, I don't want to offend her. But he, and this was just over the summer that he told her. How many years ago did that happen with that tree? When did Vanessa move here? Three? Three years ago. No, no, ever since that year, you still every year put a, yes, oh, it just probably. died. Hey Remington, you're a pretty baby. I got a new friend. You're gonna make my dog's babies jealous. I love his little freckles on his feet. Oh, yeah. oh he is so adorable. He's gonna give you some loving, Frank. Remington. Hi, baby. Oh, he's gonna jump on my head. He's gonna jump all the way up there. This is the spot where someone talked to the gentleman. This is the spot where the, the gentleman was overtaken and had to stop, and he was told that there was a box in this house, and the first girl that lived here, and it was the young girl, not the mother, wanted me to find something. And he described her, and when he described her, he knew that I had something of hers, and I had a picture. And I showed him the picture, and it was the woman in, that was talking to him. And, and also, the other people that were uh, 
family after them that purchased the house was the one that was upset about the Christmas tree and told him to tell me not to put a tree in the window. Who sits in that window and looks out that window over here? Who's lighting this up? All of a sudden. No, no, that is, a, there has been nothing on there. That is spirit activity, I'll guarantee you. Let's see, let's get that. That has been at a zero all night, and then I yeah, mentioned it. Has. All of a sudden, mentioned you mentioned it, boom. And then boom, it goes on. <laughs> Who's making the numbers go up on this? We gave something the, we gave something the attention to check it out, and something came over and messed with Come it. Come on, you can bring the numbers up. Who's messing with that Mel meter? This is a Mel meter. Who's messing with it? Bring it up. Come on. Two. No, not zero. Can you tell us your name? Two. Three. Four. Come on. Go to four. Why? No, down to one. Three o'clock. Oh, it's three o'clock, and that's dead time. Now, when that gentleman was here, Wow. He was overtaken so much that he had to leave the house. And he was and he was shaking and sweating massively. Really? And had to sit twenty minutes in his car. He had And regain himself, did he ever come back in? No, he said he couldn't. Is that something he was up to sub five Yeah, what was that? Did you guys hear it like that? Was that the dog? No, he's probably just laying down there. Yeah, it was a vibration. It was like something like uh, something, something is happening. Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something's happening right yes, now. And it's was, look at the goosebumps. This is the hour. He was a minister prior. Let me back up so I can get you. And that was part of what he did was he would go into people's homes and like bless them and stuff like that yes. and cle cleanse and, them um he was out of that he didn't want to do it who's well, setting the numbers off on that so we need to keep that away from that go over let's see if we get any more that's what I forgot to do with that one I've got a point six, point two, point five, point nine. Where are you with that thing? Oh, you're getting numbers. Oh yeah, point six, point two, point five. So that's not. That's not that. See, it's up to a yellow. Look at point one. We don't have that here. Yeah. Point two, point three. Who's here with us? Who's making the numbers go up on this? Does that have any power in it? No. That's a, uh... It's dead. This is a I mean, it's not even being used. No. Wow. That's one eight. Where are you taking us? I want to get the, uh, blue here. light. Let me, oh, let me pull this out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is deep in that bed? It's three o'clock and <laughs> things start to happen. Here, now we're good. See what works when you get the dust, right? If you just keep driving. Oh, down, 1.5, 3.6, 1.2, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.
generally. Don't mind it up here. I won't. We're all good. Right here. This is like an attic, like any other attic. I'm gonna have to put this new battery in. This battery didn't last for nothing. You getting you're getting hits on that 360. Who's up here? What was that like a cubby hole? Yes, it goes all the way to this corner. Wow. Wow. It goes all the way to the corner. got another bathroom in here, but I'm here on the... Uh... Is anybody up here? Can you tell us your name? It said something there, didn't it? Yeah. It said a name and I can't. So you can actually see better in the I dark. Have two hot water heaters. That takes care of the second floor, the one downstairs. That now that cubby goes all the way to the front of the house. Wow. All the way to the back. This house is amazing. This is really, really cool. Now we're, we were told that the third level was used for the children and the nannies, especially when they entertained people. Were there chil were there children up here? Are there any nannies up here? Oh, it's just beautiful. Is anybody up here with us? Here, let's do a little EVP session. Let's ask a few questions and see. Is there a box up here hidden? Let's do a couple questions are you here. Too close? Are you the Probably. You might want to stand over this way a little bit. Is there anybody up here that would like to make their presence known? Is there anybody up here? Tell me your name. What's your name? Well, this one hasn't worked for me. Hasn't worked for me. Woody. Did you ever live here? Why are you here? Let me see this one. Because it's draining all our batteries. I think this one's dead as a doornail, too. Because this one was going wild, wasn't it? It was working before, yeah. I'll bet you this needs a new battery, too. The places with the most activity drain batteries. Because anything that wants to try to communicate is going to need that energy. And that's how they get it. Is by draining all our batteries. I think this one's dead too. Are you draining our batteries? Are you trying to get energy? Well, these I replaced before I left the house. Did somebody mess up that periscope? You messing with this? It hasn't gone off all night. Can you imagine living here and no electricity? I would love to see this. Well, here, let me hold this for you. You can set that on the floor or something if you want. It'll just sit on its own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at it going. Look at it going. I'm lighting up like crazy there. I think I got it working here, John. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Who's with us? Can you come by this and light it up? Come, come over here and light this one up. It's getting a Who's that? 
puts the batteries in so they don't come out. I've got cat like reflexes. Say reflexes. Say green. Can you light up a green light on this one? There's two red. This one? There's two red lights on. Can we got another one over there? We'll buy that red light. We'll keep moving it around. You can spin it. Oh, there it goes. It's spinning it. Catch that. There it goes. Green. Can you go to green? Just hold it still, John. And let it move it. Can you light that up to the green lights? John. Like yeah. what? There yeah. Turn it so she can see it. Turn it so I can see it, John. There you go. Thank you. Who's doing that? What's your name? Why is this looking black and white? Because it's a night vision. Okay. Come by it and it'll light up. Come help me light this up. Who's ever up here? How many spirits are up in this attic? I'll call it an attic. How many spirits are up on this floor? Did they used to have the babies up here? Any babies up here? How many babies are up here? Come and light this up for me. Show them how it looks. Show them how it looks. Come on. Are there children up here? Come and talk to us. You can use that noise. Use that noise to talk to us through. children are up here? Or two in the child's voice. Me too. What is your name? Tell us your names. How old are you? What's the little, what's the children's names? Can you tell me your name? What? Tell me your name? What? Oh, what was that? Is Gordy here? Getting, getting, what did he hear? Look at it going. Here, turn so I can catch that, John. Turn so I can catch that happening on there. There you go. There you go. Who's lighting up that 360? Can you light up the one on this side? Can you light this one up? That's a periscope and that's a 360. You're doing good on that 360. What's your name? Who's up here with the children? Tell me your name, please. Do you know a Gordy? Hmm. Ken. Did you hear a Ken? Yeah. You heard it too? I heard Ken. Ken, are you looking out after the children? Are you keeping an eye on the kids? How many are here with you, Ken? Yeah, but the kids are, spirits of the kids are up here. If he's up here, he's see, he knows, see, he knows there's kids up here. Kenny, how many kids are up here with you? Did he pass? Kenny, did he pass? Yeah. Recent?
probably about uh, maybe ten years ago. Kenny, do you stay here and look after the children? Maybe more than ten. No, about ten, probably ten years ago, but he lived somewhere else. He lived here for a while. Kenny, do you know a man named Gordy? What's the children's names? I want to talk to the children. How many children are up here? Five. Five. I heard three that time. What did you hear? Was it? It sounded like a fart, Frank. <gasps> yeah, sure. Sure, it was a floorboard. That's like the greatest excuse. <laughs> Stick with that one, Frank. It works. <laughs> now if you can explain that smell. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Frank. Oh, look at that red light. Who's lighting up those lights? Me. What's your name? That was a pretty clear me, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you right here in front of me? Help. That was a kid said help. Is somebody keeping them kids here against their will? Ken, if you want to go, you feel free to go, sweethearts. You can go anywhere else you want to go. And nobody's going to keep you here. Ken, you let these kids go. If you're keeping them against their will, you let them go. You hear me? Don't let Ken think he's got any control over you, because you're free to go, sweethearts. You hear? If you, if you want to go, you just go. He's not going to stop you. Make these lights green if you know what we're talking about. Are you free? Come over here and make these all green. They know. See, you're free to go. Make them green. There they are. How do you like that? They're free. You're free now. Some Something was keeping them kids stuck here, I'll bet you. Look at, they're green now. They're free to go. They know it. Yeah, we had quite a few green. They might have took off. They might have got out of here with it while they could. Hey, that was pretty cool, John. What do you think? We got we set them free, didn't we? Yeah. I think there was three of them up there. Three kids, and they each lit up a green rod. Oh boy, who's here with us? Who's here in this hallway? Turn on that. There we go. Who's with us? Tell us your name. Who didn't like that Christmas tree? Oh, it said something, didn't it? Yeah. How many children came down from that attic? I'm calling it an attic. I know it's not the attic, though. Oh. What's the name of those children that were upstairs? The answer lies Are you free now? Of me and you. We got no other blame. So much to lose and none to gain. We're fed a steady diet of facts. We eat them up, but we don't react. We've said. Now our backs up 